So, today we're going to talk about the Montante from Guardia Tessa. First, Guardia Tessa. Hands, shoulder height, sword slightly lower than the buckler. The edge of the buckler protecting the hand. <coughs> it's not out here, as we used to think. Um, from Anonymous Bolognese, he tells us that we need to do the covering, which looks quite a bit like Pass Shield from I-33. Now, quite often in the assaults, you're told to throw a montante by tapping the boss of, or the dome of the buckler with the false edge. So that looks somewhat like this. Charlie, go to the cameraman. I have a phone. Oh, you have Why would you do this? Well, it actually works really well on the bond. So if he binds on my left, from here, if I do that same action, I pull him down onto my buckler, and then when I step forward, nice clean line towards his head. If he fights with me and really pushes against my sword, it actually slips onto there even easier. Not bad. And this is part of the reason why we think the Montante is a true edge. So look at this again. From here, I'm coming up in the line of a falsa with my true edge. If I were to turn it over to my false edge, that gives nice, buddy. Well, one, he can just overbind me and push me to the side. Two, I'm wasting a lot of time turning that over and bringing my tip up high where he can bring his buckle. I leave it here, I've got that straight line. And if he does bring his buckler high, he opens himself up. And this concludes our presentation on the Montante from the Bond using Guardian the Testament.